Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline at Pixie Dust PhD. My partner and I are completing our stay at the Hilton Buena Vista Palace in Disney Springs. We paid for a standard king room in the tower, but we were upgraded to a Disney Springs king room. The free upgrade is thanks to the diamond status that we have at Hilton, which we have through the Hilton Honors American Express credit card. We don't necessarily earn it organically. If you want to learn more about that credit card, I will leave a link to a video in the description below. It's always great to receive a free upgrade. So we were assigned room 2425 that is on the 24th floor. And because we did originally book the standard room and we received the free upgrade, we only paid about $240 total for this room. And more excitingly, this counts as a resort according to Hilton. So we are using our $250 Hilton Resort credit to cover the cost of the room. If you'd like to see this king room with the Disney Springs view at the Hilton Buena Vista Palace, come along. All right, this is your entryway. So here is your door. This is how the tower is configured and you can see that we are this green dot. Pretty standard hotel door. Turning around, you have a piece of artwork in your hallway and then to the left is your bathroom area. Here is the sink. There's an okay amount of counter space. It was great for two people for sure. A well-lit mirror. You've got this rack to hang your hand towels. And this wall has Crabtree and Evelyn body lotion. It is attached to the wall. And then there's this little shelving unit as well. And you get a free shower cap. Beneath the sink is some storage space as well as your hair dryer, extra towels, and extra toilet paper. And turning around is our closet. Each door has a thin inlaid mirror. There is no makeup mirror here, but you can stand extremely close to this mirror, obviously. And then the actual closet, you have your ironing board, a smattering of hangers, iron. There is a luggage rack down here. And then the shelf contains the extra blanket and pillows. Then this door goes into the rest of the bathroom area. So we have a shower as well as a toilet. The light switch for in here is this near the sink. The fan is very loud though, so give me a minute. So this is the shower. It was fabulous in terms of temperature and pressure. It got very hot and it didn't take long at all. And they give you bar soap here. And then again, mounted to the wall, you have Crabtree and Evelyn shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. A place to hang your towels and a toilet. Pretty standard. And at least as a quick demonstration of the water pressure, you can also tell from the sink. So I'll turn this on real quick. A lot of power even up here on the 24th floor. So that's your entryway. It's really just the door, this piece of artwork, and then your separated bathroom. So again, your shower and toilet are self-contained with the door. The sink is on the outside, and then you have your closet. Moving on, we then have the main living space. So this again is a king room. Here is the king bed. Both people have a side table and you each get a light. On this side, you have the phone as well as two outlets and a USB outlet. And there's just some little shelf here, some storage space below. On the other side, it is slightly different. You do still have your light, but there isn't the outlets, but you have the clock, which does have a USB port at least. And then same deal shelf and space below. Definitely king size bed, very big. It was comfortable enough. Um, the pillows were quite comfortable. They're really plush and squishy. One is a little firmer than the other. I did think though that it was maybe a little cheap. For example, there's not a real duvet. This is just two flat sheets that they have folded up to contain a blanket. So not a duvet, not a real comforter, just two top sheets. And then even this is not a fitted sheet. Again, it's just a top sheet that they've tucked in which is fine. I mean, the sheets were nice feeling. It's just a little odd. And then in terms of the mattress, it definitely was on the firmer side. There might be a tiny, tiny pad right here. It wasn't so hard that I found it uncomfortable, but I wouldn't call it plush by any means. Okay, turning around from the bed then, you have your TV and desk area, a pretty large TV, a lot of good channels. There also is a DVD player, if you would like that. 
lot of drawer space. All three of these are functional and quite deep. Then on this side, you have your safe and mini fridge. Pretty standard size mini fridge, I would say. It's not an oversized one and it does not have a little freezer cabinet. Then for your desk area, it's kind of a two-parter. There is this table, which is on wheels and is very easy to move if you wanted to move it out to the couch or to the edge of the bed or something, you could have a nice sit down meal. And then this more proper desk. This is also where your coffee supplies are and your ice bucket. And then if you, you know, want to order food, there's your QR code. The desk has this lamp, which does have two standard plugs here, no USB. That's very convenient. And you've got a nice big mirror here, so someone could sit here and get ready in the morning. Then on this side of the desk, there are these slots that I feel like are for magazines, which seems a little odd, but maybe you have a creative use for them. And the office chair, which is pretty standard, but pretty comfortable. To the left then we have the couch area. So there's this really big piece of blue, beautiful artwork, couch, and then again, a little table that is pretty portable. You can move this around easily and same with this blue thing. Ottoman, you can move it pretty simply. This couch does become a pullout bed. Works great as a couch as well. And then this tall floor lamp also has a standard outlet and the USB outlet. And then we have the balcony. So you do have a set of sheer curtains. Beneath that are the light blocking ones. They work really well at night. And this is our view from room 2425. Let's go outside for a second. Okay, it is a little loud. I apologize about that. I've got some wind noise happening, but this is our balcony. There's a little table and two little chairs. It's a small triangle shape. It is a small balcony, but pretty cool. And so this is the Disney Springs view again from room 2524. Well, first here's the pool. I believe it's open from seven to 11 most days. So pretty generous hours. And then there's Disney Springs. I'm pretty sure, you know, you've got Cirque du Soleil, obviously the big balloon. This dome might be the Edison. I am not a Disney Springs expert, but the point is you're very close and you have a very nice view. This is some of the rest of the hotel building. Here is the walkway to get to the float lagoon. And then you've got other hotels in the area, obviously. Well, most of these buildings are. And if you squint, maybe you can see Swan and Dolphin out there, that triangle. And I think if you follow that same trajectory, this little bump might be Tower of Terror. Let's get the real camera and have a look. Yep, so definitely Swan and Dolphin. I think that's also Grand Destino Tower back there. And then Tower of Terror. Pretty neat. Also notably above the bed, you do have an actual ceiling fan, which I think is pretty rare for hotel rooms. So if you like that sort of ambient air, especially while you're sleeping, this is a great place to stay. I don't know if all the rooms have ceiling fans, but 2425 did. And here is the air conditioning unit. I did turn it off for the sake of audio on the video, but it works very well. It runs all night, can keep you cool. And there is the option for adjoining rooms if desired. So that's the main room, really. You've got your two side tables, king bed, ottoman, other little table, pull out couch, desk, TV, wardrobe. And then my partner is sitting on a little bench there. Overall, I think this seems like a really nice hotel. We were really only here for like 12 hours, so didn't get to experience much other than the room. Contactless check-in worked great through the Hilton app. They even had a pop-up with instructions of where to find the elevators and how to get to your floor. The Disney Springs view is surprisingly great and was a nice surprise for that free upgrade. I will say this hotel is often over $300 a night when I have been looking. I think we got pretty lucky snagging a lower rate at again, around $240 after fees and taxes. I do think a lot of that rate is going to the amenities, especially the float lagoon. So if you are going to pay quite a lot, I would suggest you make time to take advantage of those amenities. 
A lot of what's inside the room does feel like a pretty standard, nice-ish Hilton. For example, the sheets and the linens, they were plenty good, but nothing to write home about. That being said, this room is huge. There's the whole king bed and then a bunch of space with the couch and everything. So having the extra space is really nice. The proximity to Disney Springs is also obviously fantastic. Again, we only stayed here for one night, but we didn't have any issues. Everything went super smooth. The room is definitely comfortable enough. I wouldn't hesitate to stay here again. If you have any questions about our short stay, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get you a useful answer. And if you wanna chat about this hotel or anything Disney, you can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at PixieDustPhD. I hope this look into our king room with a Disney Springs view at the Hilton Buena Vista Palace has been helpful. May the rest of your day be magical and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.